Northwestern loses to Penn State seven to seven. Ah, uh, my upset pick. Yeah. Uh. But you know what? Northwestern should be. Well, you're never happy with a loss. Let's let's start there. But seven to seventeen, and it was it was it was it was tough for Penn State though. Entire yeah, no, game. Penn State's got some deficiencies, man. They have to they have to graduate from Sean Clifford. They have to. James Franklin's job may depend on it because you know Sean Sean Clifford can come back again. I think. No, <laughs> I think he could come back again. No, wait, hold on. It was somebody in the Big Ten who can be a seventh year senior. I thought it was. I thought it was Clifford. It would either be Clifford or what? Aiden O'Connell or Morgan. Oh, you know it might be Tanner Morgan. It could be Tanner Morgan. Okay, so maybe not Sean Clifford. They need to graduate from him, anyways, because I, I don't think there's a level beyond what you are currently seeing from Sean Clifford. He is a sixth year senior. There is no. There's no elevation. There's no. Oh, he's a gamer. So. Uh-huh. <laughs> Purdue gave him that game in week one. Yes. They gave him that game on a mm-hmm. silver platter. And if it wasn't for Nick Singleton showing up out of nowhere, Penn State would be in a terrible position. And and, and, and even with that, man, they are not – I just don't know how dominant their offensive line play is. They have excellent backs. Excellent backs. Yeah. But so far – in terms of, of skill talent, they've outmatched the defense that the defenses that they've played. You know, there there isn't there isn't an athlete like Nick Singleton in Purdue's back seven. Nor is there one in, in Northwestern's back seven. That's a fact. So, you know, without breaking down X's and O's, you know, watching all twenty two for one of these teams. It's hard to know exactly whether or not Penn State has a dominant run game or whether or not they have very talented backs. And I do think it's an either or because a lot of times they they do give up tackles for loss. Yeah. And they get they get stalemated a lot, but then you see a lot of big runs as well. So, it, you know, we're still trying to figure that out. On that's, a, that's a tough question to answer because Nick Singleton was out, what was it, last week, and Katron Allen picked up the pieces. But mm-hmm. does that mean that Nick Singleton and Katron Allen are both just really good? Or, you know, the line performed for both of them? I mean, the, 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 the moral of the story is it's working for them either way now. Mm-hmm. I guess my, my thing with Penn State is when – we fill the box and we take away what little creases that are that you know Singleton uh, and Katron are, are finding Katron Allen. What are you gonna do then? Because I haven't been overly impressed with Parker Washington. Haven't been overly impressed with anybody out of that receiving core really. Yeah. Uh, and then Clifford is what he is. You get pressure on him, he'll give you the ball a couple times. It's gonna be a so, very interesting game between Penn State and Ohio State because. The DBs just haven't been there for Ohio State. But then if Sean Clifford has to win the game for Penn State, I think I like my chances. Yeah, that'll be a good a good, good measurement game for both squads there. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people like to put Penn State into that, that stratosphere with, you know, the top two, obviously, with Michigan and Ohio State. I but think they're there. I don't know, man. Yeah, just haven't seen a, a complete performance from them yet. Yeah. Not just yet. People like to point to Auburn, but Auburn's a dumpster fire. <laughs> right. So people only point to Auburn because they're an SEC team. Not yeah, no, they're but they're, they're a bad a good... SEC team. <laughs> right. Now say something positive about Penn State. Nick Singleton's really good. <laughs> He's really good. I don't think we said overall a, a positive segment on Penn State yet. But, He's, you know. He's really, really good. For and well, let me say this. I did not believe that Manny Diaz was really going to be a, a great addition for Penn State because when I watched Miami football under Manny Diaz, I saw a lot of undisciplined football on both sides of the ball. A lot of undisciplined play. And well, it, there's still a lot of season for that to rear its head with Penn State. I don't know how they're doing penalty-wise. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was great yesterday. But 
that is something to watch. So far, he's been good. Yeah. Secondaries looked good. Linebackers looked good. Defensive line is hit or miss, I think. Um, but they they've got talent on that side of the ball, and they've looked up, they've looked stout. I would agree. Let Let's see versus some competent offenses here coming up: Ohio State, Maryland, Michigan. Let Let Let's see what Manny Diaz is made of. Yeah, no, he's got he's like I said before, he's got some tough games to go against, mm-hmm. some tough offenses to go against. Yep. So yep. it'll be interesting to see what they do. 